society has a uh, responsibility to create an environment in which any child that wishes to get a quality education should exist, regardless of socioeconomic background. <laughs> Because I had trouble learning the English language, my refuge was always in numbers, math, because one plus two was three in any language. So I took refuge in math, and, uh, and, and to me it came a lot easier as opposed to language art subjects, and, uh, and so I focused on that. And, uh, and really, if uh, we're to remain the country that we are today, uh, the key is not going to be in exploiting our natural resources. The key is going to be investing in our intellectual resources. And, uh, and the key to that is investing in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, because that's what's going to pull this country ahead is technical innovation. I think to a certain degree, at least for me as a kid, um, working in the farms taught me to develop a good work ethic. When I grew up in Stockton, I grew up on the east side of Stockton in uh, a economically disadvantaged area. And though I was a good student in high school, when I went to college, it was tough. And that was because I had to really prepare myself even more. I didn't have the base that a typical high school graduate individual had or that my peers had at the university I was, and I found myself, instead of being an A-B student, all of a sudden I was down here, and I had to work my way up again, little by little, but, uh, but that's the issue with our school districts, is that we need to invest more in our schools, especially in our rural school areas, because those are the ones that suffer the most in terms of uh, resources and quality of education. Dad said, Mijo, you want to be an astronaut? Let me give you a recipe. You follow this, and I guarantee you can be an astronaut. He said, first, define what you want to be in life. What does Pepe want to be when he grows up? Second, recognize how far you are from that goal. Third, draw yourself a road map, and don't take shortcuts. Fourth, get yourself an education. Fifth, that same work ethic you developed working in the fields picking cucumbers, put it in your books. So if you mix all that up, that's the recipe for success. And then I would add one more, which is perseverance. Because you can't give up on yourself. You know, NASA rejected me 11 times. It wasn't until, until my 12th try that I finally got selected. I was there for 14 days. I was the flight engineer, and uh, they, they, they usually don't let the flight engineer do an EVA. Food, you know, you took food up there, and uh, it was dehydrated, uh, but you also took things like tortilla. You know, you don't use, you can't use bread in space because it leaves too many crumbs and they float. So the next best thing is you get a tortilla, and you know, that's your staple. So I didn't, I didn't really miss Mexican food because, you know, we took some along too. So. Well, you know, you, you look at, uh, it, it changes you in the sense that you look at the planet, you see how fragile it is from up there, that you become an instant environmentalist. And so one of the things that were changed me is I, I'm a little bit more sensitive to our environment because I see how delicate it is from up there. And I think we all, all ought to be good stewards of our environment.